Turn any of your photos into a brick mosaic inspired by the official LEGO photo app. This Photoshop tutorial will show you how to create the effect from any photo, and it's really easy to do. You'll learn how to pixelate your photo, create a brick pattern, overlay it on top of your photo, and compress the bricks into a limited color palette to make it look more realistic. Follow this tutorial and create your own cool brick mosaic photo. Start by opening any photo into Photoshop. Your image should be at least 2000 by 2000 pixels. But if it isn't large enough, simply go to Image, Size and make your image bigger. Don't worry about getting a blurry image because we'll be pixelating it anyways. We're going to start by pixelating the photo. Duplicate the layer by pressing Ctrl or Command J. Then right click on the new layer and select Convert to Smart Object. By converting this layer into a smart object, we can apply the mosaic filter as a smart filter, which will let you change the filter settings at a later time in case you need to. Go to Filter, Pixelate, Mosaic. Adjust the cell size setting until you can barely make out your image. This setting will determine the size of your bricks, so you want to set it as high as you can before it becomes unrecognizable. Remember this cell size setting because we'll need it for the next step. Click OK to apply the mosaic filter. Now we're going to create the brick pattern. Press Ctrl or Command N to create a new document. In the Width and Height setting, enter the cell size setting that you used in the mosaic filter, then click OK. We're going to start by filling the layer with 50% gray. You can do this easily with the Fill tool. Press Shift Backspace or go to Edit Fill to open the Fill tool. In the drop-down menu, select 50% gray, then click OK. Your document should now be filled with 50% gray. In your toolbar, select the ellipse tool. In your options bar, make sure that the mode is set to shape and that there are no strokes. Your fill color can be anything. While holding down the shift key, draw a circle in the middle. When you're holding the shift key, Photoshop will keep the width and height the same so that you can get a perfect circle. Switch the move tool and position the circle in the center. Now we're going to turn the circle into a stud with layer styles. Right-click on the layer, then select Blending Options. In the Advanced Blending area, set the fill opacity to 0%. This will make everything invisible except for your layer styles. On the left side of your layer styles window, enable the Bevel and Emboss style. Set the technique to Chisel Hard, then adjust the size so that you get a bevel thickness like this. It should only be around 1 to 3 pixels. If the bevel looks too strong, you can lower the highlight mode and shadow mode opacity. You can also adjust the shading angle to change where the light source is coming from. I changed the angle on mine to 90 degrees, so that it looks like it's being lit from straight above. Next, enable the drop shadow layer style. Set the opacity to 100% and distance to zero. Adjust the size setting so that you get something similar to this. When you're done, click OK to apply the layer style. We're done creating the stud. Now we're going to add a subtle bevel to the outer edge of the brick using layer styles as well. If you right-click on the background layer, you'll notice that there isn't any option to add layer styles. This is because the background layer is always locked by default. To unlock it, simply double-click the layer. Now you can add layer styles by right-clicking on the layer and selecting Blending Options. In your Blending Options window, enable the Bevel and Emboss option. Set the technique to chisel hard and size to around 1 or 2 pixels. Click OK when you're done. We're done creating the brick pattern. To save this pattern, go to Edit, Define Pattern. Type in a name and then click OK. You can now close this document without saving. We're now going to tile that pattern over your photo. Make sure you're back in your original document with your photo. Then in the Layers panel, click on the new Adjustment Layer icon and select Pattern. Open the Pattern Picker and you'll see the pattern you just created here. Select that pattern, then click OK. You should now have a gray repeating pattern of the brick you created earlier. To blend this into your photo, simply change the blending mode to Linear Light. The image looks pretty good now, but it doesn't look like a real mosaic because there are too many colors. Unless one day a company comes up with bricks in every color and tone available, you'll never be able to create anything like this in real life. So to make it look more realistic, we need to compress the colors to a more limited color palette. To do this, we're going to add two layers, one for the tone and one for the color. For the first layer, click on the New Adjustment Layer button in your Layers panel, then select Posterize. 
Change the blending mode of this layer to luminosity and move it below your pattern fill layer. This blending mode will prevent the layer from affecting the colors of your image. In your Properties panel, you'll see a level setting that you can adjust. This setting will let you specify the number of tonal levels allowed in your image. For example, if you set the levels to 6, the layers below will be forced to map to the closest 6 levels. Play around with the setting to find a setting that looks good. Next, we're going to snap the saturation of your image with a solid color fill layer. In your Layers panel, click on the New Adjustment Layer button, then select Solid Color. Pick any color, and then set the saturation to 75% and brightness to 100%. Click OK, then move this layer below your Pattern Fill layer and change the blending mode to Saturation. This blending mode will force all the layers below to match the saturation set by this layer so that you get a more vivid look. We're done! Here's how the image looks before and after. You can also change the blending mode of your posterized layer to normal if you want it to look more like the official LEGO Photo app. If you'd like to follow this tutorial at a slower pace, see the video description for a link to the written tutorial. The written tutorial also has a free PSD file and Photoshop action that you can download. Thank you for watching this video. Tell us what you think in the video comments and subscribe to us for more great Photoshop tutorials. Here are some more Photoshop video tutorials that you might enjoy.